again. So we got Joseph in from my life in Metro Manila on, and we got Jerry from Philippines Bound on today, and we're going to talk about is Manila safe for foreigners? So please subscribe to both channels. I'll put the link in the description. So uh, Joseph, take it away. All right, my my viewpoint is much different than others. I came here with Filipinos that are upper class, and they were very. This is before Duterte's time, and they were very uh, cautious of everything I did, and they put it in my head like I was a swalking target. So I had to be real careful with everything. Um, so a lot of it stuck in my head, even though I go all over the place now. I think as far as where you're going to lay your head and sleep, it needs to be guard gated either a guard gated community or a guard gated condo building or something like that just for your own safety um that's what i would recommend that's how i live here uh we were going to move to the province we're we have a family house out there and we're gonna buy the house next door and a lot in between and have this big huge area really good deal i think it was sixty thousand for this house and this house was big and nice <laughs> i mean uh, and the lot. So we were getting that all set up. The next town over, a priest that's from the Philippines moved to America and was in America for like 10 years and came back to the Philippines. And so they figured this priest is rich because he, you know, he's in America for 10 years. Word got around, people broke into his house and stabbed him to death and robbed him. And that's a priest. Wow. This is like a heavily, wow. heavily religious country but still he was broken into his house and stabbed to death and you hear a lot of things like you get a maid and the maid will let her boyfriend in or something to rob you and this and that so I don't think it's very safe in the provinces after that happened we decided to stay in Manila because it's just safer because you know if you're in the province and there's not a lot of foreigners you're, you're gonna be the one that people are looking at and there's a lot of hungry people so uh, yeah, guard gated and stuff like that for me. For me, Manila is much safer than the province, in my eyes. A lot of people will be shocked by that statement, but uh, I agree with you. You know, okay. it depends where you are in Manila. That statement came from a Filipino. Yep. That, yep. Uh, okay, we're not going to move to the province because Manila is safer. Yep. And that was yep. from a Filipino from that city that grew up in that city that changed his mind and said, just stay in Manila where it's safe. Fair enough. Now, Jerry? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Joseph uh, uh, for sure. Uh, look, I don't I don't really look at the, the Philippines as a uh, uh, as not being safe, even under Duterte. It's probably even safer under Duterte. Safe. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, I haven't lived there full time yet, but I'm just, again, going according to uh, the amount of trips that I've done and I've done 10 trips about a month at each time may not seem a lot But we move around a lot when we're there. So we're not just in one city. So we try a lot of different cities if you're gonna uh, uh, Rent something definitely like an apartment be in a compound uh, Like you know a gated community type thing if you're gonna rent a house Make sure you got bars on the windows because it's easy to break in uh, Because I think from my, from my understanding the biggest crimes there are Break-ins, like theft, is a big yep. crime there. Uh, and more than pickpockets, pickpockets. And pickpockets, well. yeah. yeah. More so than killings. But again, I could be wrong. I'm only uh, just speculating from what I hear. From what uh, I hear, the killings happen in the province more than. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd rather be around uh, where there's other expats, so you can kind of blend in. But if you're going to live in a province, I mean, for me, it'd be too boring to live in a province. But that's just me. Uh, but if you're going to live in a province, or really uh, you're going to own a house, or you know, if, especially if you're going to build a house or own a house, make sure that it looks like shit from the outside, but fix it up real nice on the inside. Because you don't want Filipinos driving by saying, hey, wow, look at that nice kick-ass house. It's either an OFW that's got money, or it's a foreigner. See well, what I mean? So you're is, standing right out. Word's going to get around. Word's going to get around. Yeah, word's going to get around anyway. But, so yeah, you're, but even you're, if, yeah. you're already rich to them. Yeah, you're already rich. They're going to think yeah. you're rich. <laughs> Even though you're only on Social Security or something, they're going to know yeah. you're rich. So they're going to think you're rich. So, And dress down would be another recommendation so that 
you know, people are you more or less to get pickpocketed. And uh, don't wear a lot of jewelry. Don't wear any jewelry. I don't even like wearing jewelry, to be honest with you. So don't wear jewelry. And I don't know, man, just, you know, know your surroundings when you go somewhere and just know where the bad areas are. I mean, and we don't, we're not barred people, so we don't really hang out all night, you know, at, at 2, 3 in the morning or whatever. We just don't do that, you know. So. I, I want to touch a few things in this subject. <laughs> For one, in general, most Filipinos are good, nice people. Yeah. But anywhere you go in the world, you're going to have bad apples. The yeah. problem is, if you got 10,000 good people and one bad person, that one bad person's probably looking at you as a foreigner, as an easy target or whatever. So that that's the issue with it. The Philippines, I think, is very safe for the most part, but you have, still have to use common sense like anywhere you go. Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. And you know, a lot of people get scared of Manila. I like Manila. Fuck. I don't, yeah, have, those, I like Manila. I don't have any problems with Manila. People well, get scared because like Manila. Yeah, I mean, I like taking the jipneys and stuff. My wife drags me on the jipneys. You know, uh, that was one of the first things she did. Hey, you want to learn how to, you know, public transportation? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So again, just be vigilant on whatever you do. Be aware of your surroundings, but don't be freaked out and look, you know, be all scared and stuff. Well, Just those, go about your business. Targets, people that act scared when they go places. Yeah, but that's right. Yeah, it's nice around here. You got Makati, you got yeah, yeah. Ocean City, you got Ermita, nice Malate. I mean, I've, I've got no issues there. Yeah. Not, I'm, I don't think I, I, oh, there was that one person that tried to pickpocket me, Jeff. I don't know. I, I don't think I did the whole video on it, but it was out at Divisoria. Don't okay. try to pickpocket me. Well, see, yeah, you're next to Tondo. You're in a bad area. Yeah, right. but we so, played it off. You know what I mean? She didn't get away with it. It wasn't yeah. like a major I, I went on the MRT and someone pickpocketed my phone. Uh, yeah, that happens, I bet. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's safe. Okay, thanks, guys. Thumbs up for Joseph and Jerry.